the menace of the great sea. The tremors of Mother Earth. Since ancient times, people protected themselves from the wrath of nature by reading the tides, feeling the wind, and observing the sky. They seeked a path to coexist with nature by understanding its mechanism. Before long, humanity evolved wisdom into technology. Today, this technology is protecting our livelihood. Furthermore, the extensive data garnered from it not only facilitates our understanding of the global environment, but also plays a key role for solving global challenges. The Japanese culture has been succeeded over a thousand years. This culture has been nurtured in harmony with nature's seasonal transitions. It is imperative to protect and succeed this culture for a further thousand years. Converting wisdom to technology, technology to infinite possibilities. Contributing to GEO's efforts is a vital mission we take great pride in. Dear friends, we welcome you to Japan, a land in communion with nature. With that, I'd like to introduce um, who will be talking about the upcoming plenary, the Japan's principal, Mamoyama, please, Mamoyama, please, and Japan's JAXA astronaut, Koichi Wakata. Please come up. And... Thank you, Chairman. Congratulations on the success of the 14th GEO plenary, and thanks to the GEO Secretariat and to the United States for hosting the plenary. As you can see here on the screen, we will hold the 15th GO Plenary in Kyoto, Japan in autumn 2018. We in Japan will do our best to prepare a successful and meaningful plenary drawing on our experience here at the 14th Plenary. We intend to bring excitement to the plenary in an inclusive manner, using GEO's drawing power to bring in people from many different GEO backgrounds, including public and private sectors, young and old. These days, the launch of several regional initiatives is giving momentum to regional activities. With the 15th plenary, we hope to provide a chance to learn from each region's experiences with innovation and to get some idea on ways to overcome our challenges. We look forward to seeing you next year in Kyoto. Please take in the turning of the leaves against the backdrop of this traditional city. Thank you very much. And here comes Japanese astronaut, Mr. Wakata. Thank you, Ms. Oyama. Thank you, uh, Chair. Uh, good afternoon, uh, my name is Coach Wakata. I had a privilege to fly in space four times, and most recently uh, I stayed on orbit for six months uh, on board the International Space Station. And uh, in this six month stay, uh, we flew over around our planet for more than 3,000 times. It's a very small, but blue and very precious uh, planet that we can call home. Today's uh, space exploration, as well as uh, environmental monitoring of a home planet becomes international <coughs> effort that spans around the globe. And it reminds us that we all share uh, one home planet. Whenever different countries work together on common goals, there are many challenges to overcome based on our cultural uh, difference. But the uh, final product becomes a remarkable example of pooling visions to advance uh, all human uh, race in a peaceful manner and uh, achieve uh, sustainable development goals uh, for humanity. Japan is one of the 15 countries that operate the International Space Station. And the uh, International Space Station is contributing to the uh, uh, environmental monitoring of a home planet using the assets like uh, cameras and sensors. And uh, Japan has been contributing to the uh, Earth observation and uh, environmental monitoring in the past decades. And we are launching 
two new satellites, uh, GCOM-C and uh, GOSAT-2. GCOM-C is uh, scheduled to be launched in this fiscal year 2017, and uh, next fiscal year in 2018, GOSAT-2 will be launched. And as Ms. Oyama mentioned, uh, Japan will be hosting next year's uh, GEO plenary in Kyoto, Japan. And I hope uh, many of you will uh, join us, and uh, we will all welcome you to, uh, to uh, Kyoto next year. Thank you very much. So we're at the any other business portion of the plenary agenda. Do we have any other business? So with that, we'll move. I, I'll look around any uh, from the floor. Not that we have none at this end. So move to the last one, which is session outcomes to the secretariat. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So um, we'll go through this uh, real quickly, but section by section. First of all, um, welcome from the United States. And I thought maybe we thought a key point was that um, uh, that uh, Steve Volz mentioned was that GEO continues to be the convener that brings together the opportunities to apply Earth observations for worldwide use and benefit, and key that we learn to really talk across communities, make sure that all are included in the conversation. And um, if you remember his statement about the best time to plant a tree 20 years ago, second best time is today. So uh, it's those no trees for providing services and delivering information to society. When went through opening remarks, you approved the agenda, you approved the final, uh, the, the the draft report, which is now a final report for GEO 13. And then in the uh, talk on uh, Earth Observations Insight for a Changing World, um, I guess maybe the key point was that the first decade we spent a lot of time on the adjectives, the coordinated, the comprehensive, and the sustained Earth observations. And it is now really time, and we've been doing it the last couple of years, to pivot and go to focus on decisions and actions uh, portion of the vision statement. In, um, we, we, we brought in uh, panel four that uh, Phil Tigo uh, 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 chaired today just so you could see all four panels together. And again, this is picking up the, uh, the chair's comments about the EO and public policy was really focusing on diversity. Small and large countries are presenting uh, different opportunities for collaboration. Panel two, EO in the commercial sector, uh, the point about humility, uh, really listening to what users need, not what we have to sell, um, changing our offer. On panel three, it was uh, the international development panel, and it was about integration. Uh, question those users need to solve a problem, not develop a platform. And then lastly, the words that Phil gave us today was uh, ambition. The National Earth Observations, there, there just aren't any magic bullets for creation of uh, national geos. Um, how to initiate them, how to, uh, where to locate them, um, but it's challenging, it's, and it's hard work. Uh, and there are, in fact, perennial issues of open data, accessibility, advocacy, policy, and guidance. Uh, so now going back to a little bit earlier in the agenda, uh, the spotlight on emerging successes. We started out this morning hearing from Peter Head at the Ecological Sequestration Trust and the importance at, or the need to turn data into wisdom. We then went through all three emerging successes, so from LARS, modeling and mapping every ecosystem service, both in terms of the physical and the monetary supply and use, uh, Lewis Dextra, the people-based approach to mapping cities, and Julie Trajan, uh, uh, people should not be dying from heat weave since, uh, since these are entirely uh, predictable. And I would say that while that whole nest of speakers uh, hadn't really uh, met ahead of time, I thought really uh, each one reinforced each other's message and it was a good kickoff by Peter to start that whole discussion. 
in terms of the GEO Program Board report, the GEO highlights, uh, the Program Board update, presentation of the proposed budget, and a strategy for sustained resourcing of the GEO Trust Fund. Of course, the full report will have bullet points under, under these and descriptions. There were no um, actions that were sp particularly taken at, uh, at that point in time. What you did do in the work program and the trust fund is that you approved that. Uh, it was a essentially a provisional approval because we're plan to bring in the GEO initiative that uh, our UNCCD colleagues introduced on land degradation, neutrality, uh, and building national capacities for monitoring and reporting. And so we had um, many uh, interventions from the floor of people that are countries participating organizations that are willing to help UNCCD and the GEO community uh, process this through our own procedures of uh, uh, the program board uh, logistics. Uh, the 2017 to 2019 GEO Work Program uh, update was approved. Uh, you approved the 2018 GEO Trust Fund budget, and you approved the slate of candidates for the 2018 program board. Um, we briefed the update on the legal status of GEO for your information. You approved the financial statements and the audit report. That's the fiscal responsibility that you have. You approved the update of the GEO rules of procedure. We announced the uh, lead co-chair, USA, and the slate of the 2018 executive committee members. And so again, welcome to Argentina, Ecuador, Germany and Morocco, and we had the GEO 15 announcements for Kyoto Japan 2018. So thank you very much, Japan, for that. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Barb. And it's busier when you run through it like that than it seemed like at the time. Um, so we come to the end uh, with the of a very successful two days or a week almost for the many of us have been here for the sessions and like. So I'd like to turn to my co-chairs for closing remarks. And first, to Wei Huang, sir, would you like to give the first comments? Mm-hmm. <coughs> 审议通过了GEO工作计划等一系列的文件,分享了GEO未来发展的想法和理念,也描绘了各方参与GEO的前景,会完成了既定的目标,取得了圆满的成功。Dear GEO co-chairs, Ms. Barbara Ryan, all the GEO representatives, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. After two days of hard work, we have completed the agenda of the 14th plenary. We have deliberated and adopted a series of documents such as the GEO work program, shared the constructive thoughts and ideas for GEO development, and outlined a bright prospect for the GEO community. The plenary has achieved the preset goals and has come to a successful conclusion with fruitful achievements. 在新的一年里，中国将继续认真履行亚太区联合主席国的职责，全力支持美国联合主席斯蒂芬·奥尔兹先生作为2018年人资主席的工作，以及将在日本举行的第15届全会的会议。希望既有成员共同努力，切实推
。最后，对南非联合主席涅瓦拉先生十二年来对旧有的贡献表示崇高的敬意，同时也欢迎新的南非新的联合主席。谢谢各位代表的热情参与，谢谢大家。Uh, on behalf of China Geo, I wish to express my gratitude again to the U.S. government for hosting the plenary. My thanks also go to the EC co-chair, Mr. Robert Smith, for his excellent work on preparing the plenary. Moreover, I would like to thank U.S. co-chair, Mr. Uh, Waltz, for his substantial support on chairing this plenary, and also to Ms. Barbara Ryan and, his, and her uh, Geo Secretary staff for their aus outstanding work. Finally, I wish to thank Mr. Uh, Philip Mewala, South Africa co chair, for his remarkable contribution to Geo over the past 12 years. And uh, also a warm welcome to the new co chair of South Africa, Mr. Uh, Maoni, and thank all the representatives for your enthusiastic participation. Thank you. To Robert Jan Smith, please. Thank you very much. Is this working now? Yes, yes I think it's working. It was a very <laughs> rich meeting, and I would like to express my gratitude, uh, first of all, to our US hosts, and particularly to Stephen Voltz. I think we should give him a big hand. I also would like to thank uh, the Secretariat, and particularly Barbara Ryan, for the first class preparation of this week. So also big hands to her and her team. And then I would like to thank all the participants in the plenary for their positive contributions, both in intellectual terms, but also in financial terms, because several pledges were made. And uh, don't be shy to still make pledges after the end of this meeting. <laughs> um, I would like to thank the co-chairs for the fantastic partnership and cooperation and friendship. And of course, also uh, very much uh, thank the new lead co-chair will take over for me for the months to come. GEO is moving from a data-centered approach to an end-user-centric approach. And as part of this strategy, GEO is reaching out to the commercial sector. The European Commission welcomes these developments, like we welcome the increased attention being paid to communicate about GEO activities and its successes in a language that is understandable to our citizens. At our plenary, we could witness this user-centric approach this engagement with the commercial sector, and the enhanced communication activities. Together with the many successful site events and the first class exhibition, this plenary will go down in history as one of the best ever. We look forward to seeing each other in Kyoto, Japan next year. Thank you very much. And thank you, please, now to South Africa, Momenini. Uh, thank you so much. Um, in my culture, they say a nice thing can be repeated, so just bear with me as I repeat uh, all the thanksgiving to the coaches who have done a steady job in driving this uh, particular plenary and also the executive committee meeting. I would also want to appreciate the role played by the secretariat, and of course, we do not have an ex in the plenary without all the members and the participating organizations. So we want to thank you for your valuable contribution. I need to um, start by um, expressing the words of appreciation from Dr. Film Juaha, who just over an hour ago was sitting where I'm sitting here. He has been enriched by an experience of engaging with you, the coaches, the secretariat, the members and the participating organization. And he does hope that his presence here over the period of 12 years was actually also enriching to yourself. So he wants to say thank you so much. Um, I think just a few things, um, what message I would like us to carry on, to carry with from today is that um, there are a number of critical uh, issues to observe going forward. Uh, one of them, of course, is that we need to continue to ensure that Earth observations are there to benefit society at large. We also need to understand 
that we need to mobilize our resources and capacities uh, to continue this uh, grand march towards establishing the global earth observation system of systems. And this we need to do with an understanding that our strength is actually measured by where we are weak. So as a result, we need to work hard to close those areas of weaknesses. That means that we need to mobilize our capacities to strengthen those that still need to be capacitated. Um, and, and in this regard, I really want to say, uh, now speaking as a representative of the African Caucus, that we appreciate the support we've been getting in the implementation of AfriGeos, and we want you to continue that support, but mostly ensuring that a whole range of other activities by our partners in the continent are properly coordinated to strengthen the work that we're doing in AfriGeos. Um, we need to continue to reach out, and I think we need to also understand that the responsibility to reach out is not that of a secretariat. The secretariat is there to support, but we need to take responsibility and go out and reach out so that really we can continue to build uh, this very noble goal. A lot has been said around finances. We need to continue to um, support this financially. It's great to have moral support, but I think it can only take us this far. We really want to say, let us continue to pledge uh, financial resources. Let us uh, do the necessary appointments to make sure that the work of GEO can actually go forward. And with those words, I really want to say thank you so much. And also to the incoming lead co-chair, we have witnessed at the Exco on uh, Tuesday the seamless handover. So we also want to thank the um, outgoing uh, lead co-chair for the good work that we've done. And I think that uh, that seamlessness means that we are going to be building on the gains that we have made over the past year going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm going to save the Secretary at Barb for last, um, and we'll get to that in a moment. So I, would, I like that expression, uh, good things can be repeated. Um, and uh, certainly there will be some of the same. Uh, I would like to make my thank yous to, to the uh, Secretariat and to the U.S. team that has worked so hard to make this uh, seamless and, and very effective uh, plenary. So the work that you see, the time of the charge, the presentation, the materials, all the background work, which was not easy and took a lot of detail and a lot of attention, particularly from the Secretariat, appreciate the work and thank them for their excellent, excellent performance in pulling this together cleanly. The side event participants and organizers were incredibly productive and interactive in a way that we hoped them to be. Um, they were all crowded and busy and a lot of exchange of information, which is where more of the work of this plenary happens in those side events, and that was, was very well done. Um, the, uh, the panelists and the moderators, uh, we went all in this year with panelists and moderate, with the moderators helping, and I think it allowed for a different level of dialogue and of actual sort of troubleshooting and problem discussion that was productive, and the, the plenary itself was fully engaged. The Slido, the crowdsourcing of the questioning in a way that doesn't require people to put their banners up and get their questions placed, I think really helped with the engagement and I do appreciate the plenary members and the participating organizations all contributing through the dialogue there which made our, our interactions more productive. Uh, the enthusiastic embracement of the program I think indicates the quality of the work that happens between these plenaries by the program board, the millions and millions of dollars and the thousands of hours that all of our players, our participants put into it are only shown the tip of the iceberg here, not even that much. Um, but the, the embracement of the program plan has been an indication of that. Um, I think the, the final thing that comes from what I would take from this is, is the humility that comes from our, uh, how much we, the weakness, I like to comment on the weakness, but how much we have to learn, um, and that's where uh, the greatest chance for growth is, because um, we're strong in many areas, but we're uncertain to run, or un incomplete in others, and that's where, that's where those bridges, those gaps that we can produce, that we can identify and we can bridge, are going to make this the most productive element of it. So I took away from that that the, the uh, recognizing of, of weakness is a strength in itself, and figuring out how to address it and how to correct it is really key. Um, 
So I would say then this has been an excellent plenary and I thank all of you for your participation and for your contributions throughout it. Um, and I did say I, I saved the rest, the, the best for last. Um, and that is, this is the last plenary for our, our current secretary director, Barb Ryan. Um, uh, for the, I will say before I get to the, the kudos, which I will in just a moment, at the XCOM, we have gone through the selection process. It's been a busy year for us for the, for the new secretary director who will be um, starting in July of 2018. We have completed our selection and, and chosen a candidate, which we will, I can't announce here, but I can say we have submitted that, that selection to the WMO, who as has been pointed out very clearly, is the, per, the parent organization where the GO sits, and we expect before the end of November to make that announcement public to the world about, if things proceed in the time frame that we expect. So um, the seamless transition from one organization leader to another, from one deputy to another, is a really a key element of strength and continuity, and we're all dedicated to making sure that happens as we move on after six incredibly productive years under the leadership of Barb as the Secretariat Director. Um, and in rec recognition of that, if uh, Virginia could please come to the front, we have put together a, one slight gift for Barb. I'm sure she has plenty office ornaments, but we from the USGO group felt uh, as she was so many years here with the USGS in the United States to bring something specifically for her. So I've asked my co-lead on USGO to come forward and that would be, please. Thank you. Or if you could come up for a minute. This is one of the first Landsat 8 images. Okay. <laughs> Centered on the beautiful city of Geneva. And it was collected from Landsat 8, like I said, uh, one of the er very early images dated April 25th, uh, 2013. And we feel that a Landsat image is a very fitting memento for Barb Bryan's service as director of the Geo Secretariat. Barb's decision in 2008, which was met with quite a bit of resistance at home, and, uh, but it was truly a game changer in the delivery of Earth observations in the United States and globally. As she alluded to the fact and understated really the impact, the downloads of our Landsat scenes in 2008 went from 20,000 scenes per year to 17 million scenes last year. And that doesn't count the delivery by services like Amazon and Google and many, many others, including a lot of the folks in this room. No one was more influential in the United States free and open data policy than Barb Ryan. And you're all familiar with the global consequences of her decision and her legacy. <coughs> on Earth observations and their use globally. So if I could just read this inscription here, presented to Barbara Ryan with deep gratitude for her six years of dedicated leadership as Geo Secretariat Director from the U.S. Earth Observations Community. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you. Boy, uh, that was nice. Uh, you now know where this gray hair came from. Uh, but let me tell you, and thank you, Virginia, for those remarks. But I have to tell you, uh, you know, the, the first uh, time Landsat was launched in 1972, there were people in the government that were suggesting uh, that that data needed to be broadly and openly available. And so for me, uh, while it took many, many people, way longer than me, 34 years, to get that opened, I happened to be in the right place at the right time. And, and I think that's an interesting message for everybody. And, Actually, it was talked about on the national uh, panel with Phil Thigo. It's just one step 
you know, at a time, one step at a time, and it's just uh, really time consuming. Um, let's see, a couple things, just to kind of bat five for five here. <laughs> uh, I would also like to thank the co-chairs and uh, Robert Yan uh, as the lead co-chair in 20, uh, 17, uh, the entire uh, executive committee and this plenary. Um, Steve, like to thank you and your U.S. team, Yana, who's sitting behind me, uh, Stenka Willis, if she's in the audience, and Renee Leduc Clark. Stenka, thank you so much. You have just been the glue that has held this all together. Uh, I think you, your team needs a, a, a round of applause. <laughs> Um, uh, and, and also, uh, uh, last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank the Secretariat staff, uh, those of you who are in this room, and those of you who are not in this room. A lot of people behind the scenes uh, spent a lot of time uh, with the U.S., so thank you, everybody. Um, you know, we started out that Insights for uh, a Changing World, I guess that was the type, uh, the talk about kind of why geo. You know, why you, why are you personally giving up time to be in this room? And uh, for me, uh, I, I guess I'd like to quote, uh, I think it's Michelle Obama who said, you know, um, movements or efforts of real lasting change um, are really characterized um, and in fact are dependent on the relationships that we build uh, between and among ourselves. So I can tell you I would just like to personally uh, thank each and every one of you uh, for the relationships that uh, we've established over the last six, almost six years. Uh, I can tell you, uh, as an eternal optimist, uh, I am absolutely convinced GEO is and will be in outstanding hands, not only with lead co-chair and that process that you approved last year, I think it's a, a real improvement to the dynamics, uh, in the hands of the executive committee, in the hands of the incoming director, and in the hands of uh, uh, plenary. So really, for the next decade, uh, truly wish you uh, all the success uh, in the world, and I think you can change the world. So thank you very much for everything. And with that, we are adjourned. Thank you all.